Okay, my beautiful sister, this is what I decided on. I decided on two eggs over easy, two slices of green tomato, and a little small portion of um, ground sausage. Okay, so um, I will let you guys know how much I eat. Normally, I take anywhere between 30 minutes to eat a complete little meal like this because I eat and then I stop eat and I stop eating and stop type of thing like that so um yeah like they said in, if you took your nutrition class it kind of teaches you to do that anyway you know so it'd be better for your food to digest and I'll tell them get my lighting straight hold on go back anyway bump it Anyway, for good for your food to digest, you know, and you can feel, you know, really any discomfort. But take, take your time and eat. They want you to chew um, at least 30 times before swallowing, which that's crazy. But it's helpful because if you swallow chunks, you know, you can get stuck in your esophagus. You can puke or, you know, it just won't it'll go down really rough. Um, also, I put salt and accent and lemon pepper on the tomatoes. And that is it. Okay. So, if you took a picture or did a video this morning, let me know what you're eating for breakfast, for lunch, or what have you, okay? I'll talk to you guys later. I forgot to show you guys that I am eating off a little saucer plate, like the little tiny plate that can fit in your hand, the little tiny one, you know, I'm eating off that, you know. I have, my egg looks big because how I fried it, but you know, two eggs isn't a lot at all. If we'll scramble, it'll be within the circle rim where I try to keep it at right here. Don't go outside that line. But I fried it, you know, so it spreads out. But anyway, yeah, that is it. The little tiny plate. Hold on. Let me put my finger. Because I want to take a picture. There we go. What's up you guys so I will be making my dinner early I have me here a spaghetti squash I'm going to cut it in half use the other half for tomorrow's dinner but um uh use one to go on this pan right here so I'm just going to cut it and I'm going to take um some oil put in there stick the seeds out there and seeds I can't remember uh it's been um, maybe a couple of months since I used that spaghetti squash but anyway once I cut it, I will show you, and if it's seeds in there, you remove it, then you put some oil on it, and then um, you put it face down and put it in the oven and for a few hours. Um, now you could take a shortcut way and just put it in the microwave, but I'm not in no, any type of hurry to make my pasta for the night. It's nothing but probably like mm, 1 o'clock, maybe one, 1 or 2 o'clock at the most. Um, I have me some um, ground hamburger meat over here, and also... Me some um, Jimmy Dean sausage I want to add with the mix of that. Also, I'm having some sauce with it. I'm making like an extra spaghetti. And um, some mozzarella cheese. I'm going to bake it. And then, yeah. So, let's just get started. I'm going to cut this in half. I don't have my tripod on me right now. So, I'm just going to have to okay, just cut like it I said. So, we're going to remove all the seedings and all this from the inside of it. Take a spoon um, and remove it. You probably want to save the seeds because you can plant the seeds to make more spaghetti squash. Like to start your own um, garden. So you can do that. Dig up all of it out and put it, dump it all in one hole. It actually grows. Or you can do it however you want to. But it actually grows like a lot of it. So, hey, there you go. And that's probably most of all for a lot of seeds too. But that's another video. Anyway, I'm gonna dig this out, boil it down. I'm gonna show you. Then we're gonna put it in the pan, put it in the oven. I got my oven set to 400 degrees, and um, yeah, let's get okay. started, folks. Now I have oiled it down and put some salt on it, some accent, some garlic powder, onion powder, and now what we're gonna do is take one. And you can wrap the other up for tomorrow if you choose to, and place it face down. And place it face down in the pan. 
I don't think the other one will fit. Well, we're going to make it fit, I guess. And there we go. It's, it's, it's in there. Then we're going to put it in the oven. And I'll probably get, let you guys know how long it stay before it gets nice and tender. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rock it out for like a good two hours. You know, so it can be good and soft. And then after it's done, we're going to take it to the next step. Ground our meat and do everything else, okay? Okay, you guys, I'm back. I went ahead and did everything off camera because I'm like really like not feeling it recording right now. But I do have my second one over there to make. Um, but I just ground up the sausage and a little bit of the hamburger. Then I dug all of it out, which is super duper tender, by the way. I have never had my spaghetti squash that tender. Like, I literally want to like eat it by itself, like with a little bit of butter and salt and pepper. But anyway, little me, I added just a tiny bit of sauce. This is a jar, and it's still full. So I like added a tiny bit of sauce. It probably doesn't look like it, but it's, you know, the zucchini, not a zucchini. The spaghetti squash is actually yellow, so it turned to red. And I added some cheese, then I stirred it all together in the pot, then I stuffed it back inside the shell. Added some more cheese on top, and that's what it is. You guys, when I tell you there's like little, literally no carbs in this, and it tastes so freaking good, I was so like shocked. You got a vegetable that tastes like a real meal that you can enjoy without having like carbs. I'm so shocked that I'm ready to eat it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pop it right back on the oven to melt the cheese. And my dinner is done for the day. I have it on 350 degrees. I have a, a full, uh, what are you saying zucchini? Godly. I have a full um, other side of this, which you guys know. I'm probably just going to eat that by itself. <sighs> I don't know, but oh my God, I'm so in love with this dish. So I'm going to pop it on in the oven. I will show you what it looks like once I take it out. And of course, see how full it is? You can't eat that, well, I don't know about a normal person, but I know this right here is like literally three meals or more for me. Literally, this one half of this, like three meals or more for me. Like, so, hey, you know, meal prep, you can see the bottom of the pan. You know, that's the dripping from when I oiled it down with um, the oil on the squash. And this is what it looks like when it comes out. It's super, oh, so hot. It's super duper tender. I have it right here on the stove with a little burnt piece of my my meat. But And this is not burned, by the way. This is the season that was on it. And as you can see, it's so tender. The whole squash comes apart. It's so tiny powder right there. They always turn your pan dark if you, in case you didn't know. But anyway, enough talking. I'm going to put this in the oven and I'll be back later. Once it's done, and you can put it in the oven for 10 minutes or less just to get the cheese all hot and melty. Okay, you guys, I am back, and this is the dish completely amazing. No carbs, yep, no carbs, cheese, meat, a little sauce. And spaghetti squash, amazing. It looks delicious. Let me get my fork and taste it for you guys. Okay, let's taste it. Oh wow, look at that. You guys see that? Alright. Digging deep in there. All oh, that nice spaghetti squash. Okay. Wow. Amazing. Let me taste. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That right there is money. Put that in a restaurant and sell it, baby. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, wow. All right, you guys, I'm out of here. Okay, so my other dish that you saw from the spaghetti squash was the spaghetti